Okay, so the Mercedes is now here in Reading. The way I was able to get it here was because I did have an MOT booked just somewhere around the corner around here. Um, I did plan to go to it. However, car broke down at the petrol station. I'll pop up here. Yeah, uh, the battery died. Uh, so I needed to get jump started and that then put delays and then I wasn't able to get there in time. But at least I was in the area to then bring the car back here to Reading. I have got a book here with all of the stuff that I want to do to the car. But instead of me just standing around talking about it, let's get to the car. We'll start giving it a clean inside and out. And I can then tell you while I'm doing all of that what the list of jobs are and why I'm doing them and what the plan is. So let's get to the car. Right, okay, so I think the first thing that I will do will be to clear the car out. I always like to hoover first because if I wet the outside of the car and then going inside the car and I can then put in the wetness and uh, etc. So always do the hoovering first and then the cleaning. So what I'm going to quickly do is just empty the car of everything so that I can then get the hoover into it and once the interiors then had a sort of a semi clean I can then do the outside so let's get everything out Back, please. Okay, so this is all the sort of loose junk that I've got out. Obviously that just needs to go back into the actual place in the boot. That needs to be installed correctly. I think some of this other stuff can probably go in the boot. This is the service kit, so that's the oil. That's then the hydraulic uh, fluid that was like for the brakes. Uh, I think these are the old discs and pads for the front so they can just be thrown and then the rest is just rubbish. So now that the car is cleared out, Okay, so I can give the boot a good hoover. The inside now just, yeah, looks like it needs a good hoover. So let's get the hoover out. Right, okay, so that is a clean of the interior. I do need to do sort of like the dashboard, but I'll use like a, a wet cloth, etc., for that. So, yeah, back seats and stuff like that now looking a lot nicer in here. So, uh, yeah, now let's get on to the actual wash of the car because look at the state of her.
Don't know if this is gonna work, because it's only like some sh car shampoo, not actual snow foam, but let's just get a bit of it on so I can then go and have a cup of coffee and let it soak on. But I'll leave that to soak on and then I'll give her a good old wash with the uh, hand mitt thing. And yeah, I'll get some alloy wheel cleaner as well to uh, start getting that clean. Now this isn't the stuff that makes it go purple or make it look like it's bleeding, but I'm hoping that this is gonna at least make it a bit easier for when I come with the brush. Dirty. I don't think I've ever seen alloys this bad. Okay, so, I mean, it's kind of gone all streaky because I just kind of left it with all that sort of like soap stuff on it. But I'm hoping that when I actually give it then a wash with the uh, hand sponge thing that will then ease more of this stuff off. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to quickly hand wash the car. I am running low on battery, so I'm just going to quickly do this bit. You don't need to see me doing the hand wash bit. Um, and then we can then tackle the alloys. So I'll what, we'll do the alloys because I think they'll be good to have a look at. Um, and then she's clean. So let me just quickly get this bit done. Okay, so that is her now hand washed. I'm now gonna do the alloys, but I'm gonna do the alloys with the, like the pavement cleaner attachment one. It's a bit more high pressure. I mean, they're all flaking and stuff like that anyway, so I'm gonna have to refurb them. So if I take off the paint, I take off the paint, but let's see if I can try and use that to make them clean up a bit better. Right, these are like proper caked on. So what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna leave these for now and get some proper alloy like cleaner. Uh, like the two part one where it breaks it down, you know, the one where it makes it look like the alloys are bleeding. So I'm gonna get some of that because the reason I think they are so bad is because the brakes were like non-existent here. So they've just been burnt out and I think all of that dust and corrosion has just gone all across the side. Now, my other theory with that is it was this one that I believe was also leaking fluid. Now, if you look down the side of the cut, can you see I've tried to clean as much as I can, but there's still this like, I don't know, so I'm gonna have to use some other kind of chemical or harder chemical to try and get that off because even me hand scrubbing couldn't seem to get it off. So bit of a pain there, but she is looking so much nicer now. Obviously, yeah, still need to refurbish these uh, lights, make them look a little bit more newer, nicer, not so yellow, but yeah, she's gleaming in the sun. So now I just need to, yeah, clean the windows and the roof, and then all done. Okay, so it's not the best clean, but definitely 10 times better than what she was. So I'll just quickly go around her. And you can see, haven't done the alloys, as I say, I'm gonna get some extra stuff for that, but she definitely does look better once she's then cleaned up. Do need to sort those arches, but there we go. One semi-clean. C180K. And that took way too long for a washing and a cleaning of a car. So that's where I'm gonna leave it today. Uh, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe Obviously, I've got still loads more to come for this. Obviously, I want to get this sold so that I can then be getting loads of stuff that I can then, you know, do for the channel. So do like and subscribe and join me on the next one when we will probably either do the headlights or the service or looking at the sunroof or, yeah, that list that I've gone through. So join me on the next one.